morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meezy69 and welcome back to another top five video. Today we're going to be looking at the top five reasons you keep dying in World of Tanks Blitz. And coming in at number five, oh, these are any order, these are any order, is getting caught out of position. Now this is probably the one reason, the main reason that you keep dying. And look at me here, I'm in a badger. I'm in a badger in an awful position, an awful position. And that is the main cause of you dying. It doesn't mean that you're gonna lose. It all doesn't, I mean, this, it didn't really matter. And I was playing quite aggressive because we was winning. I mean, look, we're killing it. Six versus three, the T62's low hit points, the FV's low hit points, and this K91 is pretty much a one shot. So we're gonna win anyway, but that is, one of the reasons why you keep dying because you keep getting in wrong positions uh, and you get caught out in that position. So moving on, we're gonna have a battle here in the T57 Heavy. Now in just this battle alone, I, I managed to, to get the other, uh, another three reasons why you keep dying in Blitz. And we're gonna get to that when we, when we get to it in the battle. So we're gonna go to the right side. We're going to go to the right side, which is the, the main side. The enemy have three mediums and a light tank, where we only have two mediums and a light tank. So the quicker the heavies get there to support our mediums, the better it will be. So it is Rockfield, and if you've got a tank with a strong turret, this position here is really good. And this is next on, on the list why you keep dying. Don't hit point trade. Hit point trading is a big reason you keep dying. I mean, you sit there and think, you know what, I can take this guy out. I've got better DPM than this guy. I'm gonna take him out. Yes, you might be able to take him out, but he's also taking your hit points and that is not what you want. And that brings me to the next reason, just like this IS-4 has done, being greedy. Being greedy is again, another top reason why you keep dying. You see a tank, you want to focus him because you can kill him, and then just look at this IS-4. And because of this, Sheridan come, is come back to help me. That is another reason, not working with your team, just like this IS-4, just like that IS-4 did. He wanted to YOLO in uh, to get some damage. And look, I mean, I've taken one shot from that guy. He's dead, uh, and thanks to that Sheridan, he helped me. He come back and helped me and pretty much kept me alive. Not just kept me alive, but he kept my hit points uh, quite high. So I only took one shot from that guy. So working as a team is, again, it's vital. And I know matchmaking isn't the, isn't the greatest, but if you're a good player or if you know what you're doing and you're moaning that your, your team's not coming to help you, then take things into your own hands. I mean, if you can see a tank on your team that's on his own to the left, go help him, go help him. Because that tank's not gonna think, you know what, I need to go over to that corner and help that IS-4, or I don't, I need to go over to, they might not be thinking like that, and they might not be have the ability to think like that, where you may be able to. So help your team as much as you can, because helping your team working together, focus firing, hit point trading, sharing hit points these all will win you games and more importantly they'll keep you alive well actually these will keep you alive and more importantly help you uh, win the game so next up is using your tank wrong using your tank wrong and what i mean by this is using the advantage of of your tank and you're doing you're doing it wrong so for instance an is7 an IS-7's got a pike nose. It's not great at side scraping, so don't side scrape. It's got a strong turret. The E5, strong turret. Hold down, go hold down. And we're gonna watch a battle here from Lep in the Jaegeru. Now the Jaegeru is a very difficult tank to play, very difficult tank, because the armor from distance, the armor is actually really, really good. But the front plate, bottom plate, and the cheeks of the tank, because they're so flat, they are easily pinnable. So if you go hold down in this thing, you're gonna get your cheeks. If you side scrape, then you need to do it properly. And that is what I mean about using your tank properly. And a lot of the reason you die is because you're playing your tank wrong. You're playing it wrong. You're not angled 
whether that means you're not angled properly or you're over angling, you're not side scraping properly, you're over side scraping, you need to play it to your tank's advantage and what is best suiting your tank. And there's loads of tanks like it. There's STBs and patterns. They got gun depression and, and very strong armor. So if you've got, I mean, uh, turret armor. So if you've got an amazing turret, then maybe side scraping is not the best. Side scraping is not the best. If you've got gun depression and you've got an amazing turret, of course, the main advantages for that tank is going hull down and using that for your advantage. And you can see here what Lep's doing. He's trying his, his best to hide that bottom plate because he knows that is the weakest part of this tank. And as soon as he can hide that bottom plate, this tank becomes an absolute monster. It really does. Because if you're angled, your cheeks become uh, a lot stronger. If you're hiding the bottom plate, then there's nothing really they can do. It's very slow as well. It's very slow. So don't get out, don't get caught out in position. Always have hard cover. When that's what Lep is doing here, he's he's got these buildings around. He's got his the tanks behind him on his team and he's not in really any danger whatsoever. He's getting himself into positions where he can get monster shots like that into the STB. And again, when I'm saying play your tank properly, that goes with the armor as well. So if you're an American, if you're an, Amer an, a, an American tank, everyone knows that an American tank has a juicy ass. So if you're, say, in a heavy, E5, for instance, if you're in an E5 and you're driving uh, with the mediums or, or whatever you're playing, then you've got to try and stop anyone getting behind you, especially big guns. You always have to try and face the enemy. I mean, other tanks, Foshes. Fosh is a great armoured tank, but yet it has really, really weak sides and a really weak, uh, weak rear. So you're not going to come out sideways because that'd be stupid. So you always want to show the front of your tank, the tank, always show the strongest part of your tank. And that is what I mean about playing your tank wrong. And you see it all the time, all the time, like people, what are you doing? Why are you driving it like that? And it doesn't just mean using the tank for advantage. I mean, that can go for anything like dead rail, for instance. On dead rail, you have the corner of the map that is absolutely perfect for TDs to sit there, where yet if you're in a medium tank or in a heavy tank, that position might not be as good. And we see it all the time where heavies, medium, light tanks go into these TD positions and they they just snipe. And that's what I mean about playing your tank wrong. Play as it should be played and have that support from your team. Work as a team. Don't get caught out in, in an awkward position. It's not good and you're going to die. You're going to die. If you're not working as part of your team, if you go on your own, if you say to the team left and the whole team goes right, but just because you said left, you're going to go left. You're going to die. You're going to die. And, and that's what I mean. That These are all the reasons, top reasons. I mean, you guys are probably going to think of more, but this is my top five. It's my video. And these, for me personally, are the top five reasons that you keep dying in blitz. And of course, a lot of it is the matchmaking and a lot of it that you carry your ass and there's just only so much carrying you can do. But if you look back at that game, yes, you might have done 8,000 damage, but there may have even been little things that you could have done different. You don't know. But great game there from Lep. That is the top five reasons you keep dying in blitz. I hope it helps. I hope uh, you guys... Some of you guys that are less skilled, take little, little things in, on board and it will help you. It really will help you. Work as a team is the most important thing. Use your mini-map and you will start winning games and you will start surviving a lot more. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm Meiji69 and I will catch you all soon. Bye-bye.